Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and welcome back to another episode of our beautiful little nighttime painting together. Today we're actually going to finish this up with the cattails that you guys voted for, but don't worry, very soon we're going to be starting a new painting. For now, let's get started. We'll start off today here with a very thin mix of brown and black. On the liner brush, just pull it right out to a point. All right, let's go ahead and begin dropping in our little cattails. Now in the, in the sketch that I drew, I had them coming up pretty far, so I'll try to keep that Try to keep that going. Now because these are so big, I can actually press down fairly hard and use a lot of the brush in order to make them nice and thick. It'll help them look close. I don't, I don't want to cover up all my little stars. So the long and tall ones, well those ones will be sort of, they'll be up like this and then the big, the big mass of them is going to be a little bit lower. We might even do that with a different brush. These are just the little stems. I'm getting these in pretty quick. So you kind of get your hand moving in a circle and touch down. Look how fast you can throw these things in. <laughs> so fast. I sure hope those show up. I think they do because they're so dark. And this is actually not super dark. All this stuff down here. There. Unless it's windy, make sure they overlap each other quite a bit. If you want it to be windy on your lake, well, then they all go the same direction. All right. Set that brush down. Pick up a little fan brush here. Be careful not to get any of that thin paint in with this. This needs to be pretty thick. Okay, tap it right into the brush right down here and simply mush in, because remember this is dry, mush in a little bit of grass or who knows what. Well, actually I do know what. <laughs> Probably the bottom of the cattails all, all growing together. There, it just needs to make, needs to match. So it all makes sense. Soft, soft edges. Good. I'm going to spend just a few more minutes finishing this area up because this is all the same old stuff over and over again. Then we'll jump right back and show you how to do the, the little details. Next I'm going to load our detail round brush with one side with dark and the other side with a little bit of light color, just a little bit of yellow. Okay, now right over here, as you can see, I just completed the little, the little grass part. Now I'm going to attach the cattail to it. So light to the left facing the house on this side. I am just going to touch down, pull like this, and then let back up. Make sure it's thick enough there at the top. Now I don't want too much light, so if too much light comes off, you can always kind of knock it back down. Good. <laughs> okay. And we are going to do this over and over and over again. So we have a nice little field of cattails. There. Oh, I like that. As it's running out of paint, you see that? It's getting more subtle. Oh, that's good. Good stuff there. All right, more dark. There we go. See that? You can maybe right right here. We need one. I'll connect it with a stem. There we go. We just I felt just for composition reasons we needed one there. So so why not just stick it right in? There's one. Good. Not too many, but you know enough that. You guys get your cattails. Okay, here we go. Light on the other side this time. Because the whatever light these things are picking up is probably from the house. So that's the reason. All right. I like that. I like it a lot. That's cool. Right over here, maybe these are just going to be darker. Oh, yeah. Good. And I'll show you one thing we can do if we want to get really detailed. I'm going to do a couple of small ones first, though, kind of in here. Just very loose, just to indicate, you know, that there's more stuff happening. Good. Okay. Liner brush. Watch this. I don't know if you can see this or not, but I'm going to just pull out a little bit of a point on the top of some of these cattails. There. Now I'm going to very carefully, very carefully, just drop in a bit of highlight to a couple of these little cattails. Now let me show you the color here. It's a very, very dark green. In fact, it's kind of similar to the color of my palette there. Anyways, we're going to use this to just throw in a little bit of detail toward the middle. I'm going to even go more subtle out on the outside edge. But in the middle, you know, it's kind of nice to have a little extra light. I know we can't see color at night. But you know, maybe it's catching a little light from our from our building. And that would that would maybe 
enable us to see a little color. <laughs> there you go. So anyways, even if it doesn't, I just think it's cool. So we're going to do it because <laughs> it works there. You guys know, I'm just, I try to do things that work pretty well. And, and if it works, it doesn't necessarily need an explanation, especially in a nighttime painting. You can kind of get away with a lot there. I'm going to go a little more subtle out here do quite a few less. It just breaks up that big, massive dark area. We don't want that dark. And in just a few minutes, when we get this thing finished up and signed, I'm going to throw it in a frame so you, we can all see what it looks like in a frame. I'm really excited. I think it's going to be cool. I'll spend a few minutes kind of picking a frame and then I'll show you. <laughs> this has been fun though. Thank you so much for voting with me each week. And there could have been so many different combinations. And this is what we ended up with. It's so exciting to see what you guys want there. And like I said, very soon we're going to start a new painting. And that should be a lot of fun. I can't wait. So be, be on the lookout for that. All right. Well, I think we finally have a finished painting here. All we're going to do now is sign it. Then we'll see what it looks like in a frame. All right. Well, here it is. Our finished painting hanging on the wall. I chose this frame because it had a little black strip around it, which I think really ties in well with the night scene. Also, be sure to be on the lookout for the next new painting that we're going to be starting soon. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I can't wait. Also, remember to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this series and are looking forward to the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>